Hey guys, I just want to give you a quick demo on the Lemitec portable sandblaster here. Real nice unit, lightweight. Comes with the tool itself. Uh, you'll notice here in the top that I have a plug. I just put a plug in there just because uh, I filled it with the sandblasting medium and I don't want it getting all over the place. Uh, so I just put a plug in there to help me so that I can transport it and stuff. This is the unit, nice handheld portable unit. Comes with the gun itself, instructions, and an extra tip. Uh, tips are real easy to change. Uh, it, you literally just unscrew this. Slide the tip out. Put your new tip in. Put your cap back on. And you're good to go. It's nice and lightweight. The only thing that adds weight to this system, obviously, would be the uh, sandblasting media. You will have to add a quarter inch uh, connector tip to it. Feels good in the hand overall. Uh, I just want to give you a couple demonstrations on what you can use it for and stuff, and then we can go from there. Uh, here on the side is where you control the medium coming in or out. You can turn it on and off here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and connect it up. Now right now I'm running at 60 PSI. Um, this seems to be a good area for cleaning tools and stuff like that. That's where this really excels. Uh, great for automotive work, cleaning your tools up. I have a rusty wrench here that we're going to hit. Some plexi and a mason jar. This is the stuff that I use these things for the most. Uh, great for automotive work if you need to if you take off parts and you need to clean them or if you have a part of your body that has rust on it and you want to get rid of the rust to prep it this is a great gun for that uh, I have a blasting cabinet but that doesn't really help me when I'm outside so that's why I love this thing so we're gonna give it a hit right here on the uh, plexiglass real quick and see what you know what it looks like like I said I use this all the time for plexi cleaning up steel and mason jars making candles and stuff like that it's actually really great for arts and crafts so all right we're gonna hit it right here and see what we come up with so here we go actually we need to turn it on real quick there we go okay here we go as you can see there did a real good job of blasting the material. So if you lay vinyl on top of this, which I have a vinyl plotter, cut out your design on the plotter, paste it down, sandblast, and it only frosts what you need it to frost. So it works really well on Plexi. As you can see here, this is one of my wrenches. Uh, it kind of got left out in the driveway the last time I worked on my vehicle. So we're gonna give it a blast here and see what we can come up with. as you can see there cleans up your tools real nice now what I'll do with once I get this all cleaned up I will take motor oil and I'll rub it over it then clean it off real well and that will seal it up to where this doesn't happen to me again uh, unless of course I leave it out in the driveway overnight all right so cleans up steel great and then last but not least we have a mason jar now a lot of people use these for candles gift baskets and stuff like that the nice thing about it is if you don't want to use these dumb little labels that you can get to put on there and mark with a marker or chalk or anything like that you can actually like I said take vinyl anything like that contact paper cut out your design stick it onto the unit and then just take your sandblasting gun and give it a hit we're gonna do it right here on the side where you guys can really see it All right, so there we go. Does a really good job of etching the glass. Now, like I said, I'm running this around 60, 65 PSI. You can turn it up and it will give you an even uh, deeper etch, or you can turn it down and it will make it a lighter etch. So I just want to give you a demo here of how the gun works. Turn it off. 
there we go. Like I said, this thing is portable, great for taking anywhere, uh, lightweight, great for automobile work, crafts, anything that you need to etch or clean. Like I said, I got this unit mainly for automotive repair and when I want to do bigger jobs that won't fit in a sandblasting cabinet, this is the best option next. Uh, I have a sandblasting cabinet inside of my shop. I use it for most of my projects. The problem is, is that if there's a part on a vehicle or anything like that or body work, I can't really bring out my sandblasting cabinet to fix it. So this is a perfect unit for that. Uh, I, I love it. Like I said, you will have to get a quarter inch connector kit if you don't have it. You'll have to have a compressor. Uh, but other than that, it pretty much uses any blasting media. So if you have some already, you can use it inside of this gun. I'm using uh, blasting media from my cabinet. So uh, I can go back and forth with them. Love the fact that it comes with an extra tip. Uh, I'm really happy with the product. I uh, just want to give you guys a little demonstration of how it works. Always remember to wear your safety glasses and a pair of gloves when you're working with this stuff because if you hit your skin with this, really doesn't matter what PSI you're running at, it's going to hurt. Alright guys, well thanks for watching.